If you want to learn how to make a team change GUI like this one, then make sure to watch until the end to find out how. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is insert a screen UI into start UI and name it to team team change. Then insert a frame into it. Set the anchor point to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 and set the position to 0 0.5 0 0 0.5 0 so it's in the middle then going to change the size to 0 0.4 comma 0 comma 0 0.9 comma 0 You can change this or do whatever you want with it to fit how big you want it. I'm actually going to set this to 0 0.5. Then add a text bu button into the frame and name criminals. Set the size to again, whatever you want. I'm going to do the same what I did with that one. There, but you can extend this up here as well. Set the position to 0 0.03, 0, 0 0.04. Right, zero point five zero. Oh, that's like zero point zero five. So, but again, you can move this to how you want it. Duplicate it and name this one police. Then move over. You then add a local script to the screen UI called Team Change and add a remote event into replicated storage. We are then going to call Change Team. We're going to add Team, which, if it's not in your Explorer, go to mo Model, Service, Teams, Set. I'll then go add three teams, one the criminal, and then change the colour to whatever whichever one fits you. I'm going to change it to by orange and change this to police and change this to Change this to whatever one you want to do. I'm going to put electrical blue. And this one, I'm going to do name choosing. And you can just leave that as white. And make sure this is un un auto assignable. Same with this one, but keep this one also assignable. In the script, you're going to write local remote event equals game dot replicate storage and then you can add local you can add a spacer for decoration the menu button equals we're gonna leave that for now but if you then go on to local frame equals script dot parent Wait for child frame. Then 
and local police color electric Make sure it's that way. And then local criminals color equals bright orange. I'm going to do frame dot criminals dot mouse button one click connect function mate event fire server quick color dot new Criminals color. And then, if you just want to copy, paste that there, and then just change this and this. We're then going to add a script in Serve Script Service and type and type game dot replicate storage dot change team dot on server event connect function player team car player dot team Color is team color player load character. If you then add a text button to team change, so the anchor point to zero. Zero point five and set the position to zero ten zero point five zero oh. zero point five zero. You can change this to whatever font you like. I'm going to change it to Creepster, like last time, and just change team. You can customize this as you want. I can do that. And we're going to name this menu button. If you go to local script, you're going to add in to the local menu button script for parent wait for child menu button and then down here menu button dot mouse button one click connect function frame dot 
visible. It was not frame dot visible. And that's really that. If you go to the place where you are and then hit fly. As you can see here, this works and change to criminal and you can change to police. So yeah, if you did enjoy this and it helped you, please give a like and tell me in the comments what make what game you're making that you need this. You can customize this to whatever you don't need to do criminal and police. You don't have to use fonts, you can customize it as you want. You can even change this to neutral. Yes, yeah, so it's completely up to you. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next Tom Builds video. See ya.